In this video I'm going to show you some of the more advanced copy and paste features that you can use within Microsoft Word or even any other Microsoft Office product. The first one I want to show you is the Format Painter, which is used to very quickly copy formatting and apply it somewhere else in your document. Begin by selecting the text you want to copy, click Format Paper, scroll down and click the text you want the formatting to apply to, and notice that that's quickly applied just bold and indent. You can also do this uh, to several pieces of text at the same time, if I just undo that. Select your text, click Format Painter, actually double click on Format Painter, click on the first piece of text and notice that this button stays orange, which means it's still applied. You can then click on the next piece of text. The important point if you do things this way is that you then have to go and click the Format Painter button again to turn that feature off. Otherwise you end up applying formatting to text you didn't want to format, which can be quite annoying. The other feature I want to show you is the Paste Special feature. This is really good when you select text and copy it. I'm just using the Control c shortcut. And when you select Paste Special, there are different options on how you can paste that text. For example, if you were copying a picture or a table um, or a diagram, you might want to insert it as a picture so that it can't be edited. Or if you were going to be putting this text somewhere where you didn't want the formatting to apply, you can select unformatted text. I use that a lot when I'm copying text off the internet and pasting it into Word because it means I don't get all the funny things like the table formatting and weird things like that. And the last feature is the Office Clipboard, which you access by clicking this little expansion button here. Usually when you copy and paste text in a Microsoft product, you can only do one piece of text at the one time. So there's a lot of going backwards and forwards if you've got a lot to do. With the Office Clipboard, you can do up to 24 pieces of information. So when you select something, select Copy, you notice it gets added to my clipboard here. And I can just keep adding as many pieces of information as I want. It's really, really handy. Because what that then means is that if I go and create a new document, and I open my Office Clipboard again in that document, I can choose to paste one specific piece of information, or I can select Paste All, and paste all of those pieces of information in one go. And you can do that between different Microsoft applications, so you can copy rows in Excel, paste them into a document in Word, you can copy stuff off the internet and paste it into Word, all sorts of things. When you're finished with the things in your clipboard, right click on one of them, sorry, click the drop down on one of them, you can either select Paste, to do, paste it individually, or Delete, to remove it, or you can select clear all, which wipes your entire clipboard. One thing you do need to be aware of with this is that if you don't want to use this feature, you just want to go back to pasting one option at a time, you have to close it, and you actually have to close it in every place where you had it open. So I had this open in two different documents, I have to close it in both, and then I can go back to standard copy and paste. In some documents, sometimes this appears when you don't want it to. If you don't know how to use it properly, that can be quite annoying. You can choose the Options drop-down, which gives you um, options about not using the Office Clipboard when it's pressed quite, twice or showing it automatically. So you can change those options on and off if you need to. So those are the advanced features of Copy and Paste.